Hi. Welcome back uh, to It's Your Life by the Grace of God. Um, last week, I was uh, touching on the Proverbs um, 31 woman. And um, if you were following it, you'll see that towards the end, I kind of felt like I left something out. And um, I said, oh, man, I should have uh, paid more attention to that. Or, and, I, and I also said, that, well, I'm going to look in, I'm gonna look further into that because I kind of felt like, like if um, I missed out on something. And, and I feel like because of that, I feel like you guys missed out on something too. So what I wanted to do is go back. I'm just going to go back just to the, the last uh, sentence of the Proverbs uh, 31, which was, um, I think it was the last verse. Well, we'll begin where, where it said, uh, charm is deceitful and beauty is passing, but a woman who fears the Lord She'll be praised. Give her the fruits of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Now, I was I was looking at that this week and I, I was like, no, it had because I think last time I said something about that it had to mean like, oh, if she was like on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, that would be the reason why they would, you know, oh, yeah, you're so great. Oh, that was awesome, you know, and, and things like that. But I, I was like, nah, I don't think it's something I kind of like guessed it would be like, but I was like, nah, I don't think that's it. So after I pondered over it for about a week, um, I did come out with something different, you know, the Lord did speak to me about it, and I was like, ah, this is not, this sounds more, um, more towards what it meant, uh, to be said about, about the verse. Now, the part where a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. And see, he told me something about that too. And I, I totally, because I was so excited about the last two, two uh, sentences that I totally uh, forgot about. The woman who fears the Lord would be greatly praised. Uh, more, I guess, because she, she knows that there, there's more to life than 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 beauty and um and, and charm and when you fear the lord you're you're going to uh do certain things in a certain way you're not going to do it where you're going to be uh deceitful or you're not going to do it in the way where you know nothing's going to uh, nothing's going to come come from from what you're doing because you fear the Lord, the Lord's going to you follow the rules, the regulations, and you know you're going to be blessed t towards the end. And that's how I felt uh, about when a woman fears the Lord because you know that at, at the end, the last thing you want to do is rely on your own um, understanding because when we rely on our own understanding, we kind of like get. Um, we end up confusing ourselves. So, but when we rely on the Lord's understanding, it opens our eyes and makes us realize how much more we can benefit from who he is. And that's what she, I'm pretty sure that's what she did. She knew the benefits from, from knowing uh, the Lord. She knew the benefits from from reading his word. She knew the benefits from um, the, the gifts of the Lord, the, the promises of the Lord. She knew the benefits. So in that aspect, then, yeah, you know, of course, because praise her, because 
she she's relying on the word to get her through to get her through uh her the, her times okay but the other one that i also was um looked into was reward her for all she has done and that i got the fruit i think the other one was the fruits of her hands well, the fruits of your hands, when when you're taking the time to create something, to do something, or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, <clears throat> your the Lord will help you. He will make you prosper in those areas. So you will definitely see the fruits from your labor. And I was like, ah, okay that's it that's it so you definitely will prosper from the fruit of, of your hands okay and then the other one of course was and let her own no that was the wrong page i have two pages where i have it written on um let her deeds publicly declare her praise i think i had in another one where it says uh <clears throat> and her works and let her works praise and let her works bring praise at the city gates. Then the other one was uh, let her own works praise her in, in the gates. Like that was the same one. But publicly praise, declare her praise, was her fame. Let everybody know. You know, it's just like when you have a, a, a brand name out there or what used to be about what years ago when Calvin Klein used to be the big thing, you know, yeah, he did, what was that, June, anyway, <laughs> his jeans. and it, he came out with these jeans, and he, evidently everybody loved them, and everybody was buying them, and because of, of I guess, the greatness of how they felt, he became famous, and then there's other, you know, like right now, oh my god, there's so many of them, I can't even think, um, uh, I forgot to do with the white hair. I forgot his name. Anyway, but you know what I mean. There's just so many brands out there. Victoria's Secret or, um, ah, oh, what is her name? Oh my God, I should have wrote these names down. You didn't think about them. Um, people who create, uh, clothes. People, uh, Vera Wang. Uh, she's famous for her clothes. Who else? I can't even think of them on top of the top of my head right now. But you know, you know who they are. The people who embed, who are, who are creating clothes or certain um, items and things. They're, they're into their creations. And because of what they do, they publicly become famous. That's their fame. So there you go. There you are. <laughs> Sounds like now nah, I feel better because I just felt like I ended it and I felt like that wasn't right. <laughs> I left myself hanging. I left you guys hanging. I did not like that at all. So I gotta do. I have to finish it. <laughs> so on that note, um, I still haven't had a chance to put together uh, what I'm gonna do for uh the books of John or uh the book of paul but i think i probably will just start with john okay just start there um another thing i wanted to talk about a little bit was the i think i was tapping in into the the powers that the lord gives you and <clears throat> the supernatural powers and i was thinking about that and i said well there's a lot of other things that that you should know that, you, that that might be able to help you because when it comes to um, natural uh, powers, you you kind of like have that in you, okay? And those na and I mean those natural powers are from the spiritual powers. I mean when you're a child of God, you automatically they when you become a child of God. In you, you are that new creation. Those natural powers are automatic. They automatically are in you. 
not the not the average person. They don't have it. Don't forget that. It's the ones that have it is the the uh, the new creation of of God. Okay, and and those natural powers are usually two of them that I know of that <clears throat> are very helpful in your journey uh, with the Lord. And it's called discernment. Um, that one, you kind of like perceive before anybody tells you anything. It's like you can you can sense what they're going to do, or you know you just feel it. You know that something is. You know something about them, or you know something that they're going through. That's that's discernment, and 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 it's it's really something when they confirm you, like yeah, you're right, I am going through that. I, it's exactly what I'm going through, and that's a very important because when you discern something, especially for someone, you could always find a way to help them. And believe me, there's a lot of people out there that need uh, a lot of help and and if it's just by a word or if it's just by <clears throat> you telling them you know the the Lord let me uh, to pray for you because something in my heart I felt like you were going through this and you were going through that so I just want to pray for you about over this is that okay and they'll like, huh? you know like that's exactly how I've been feeling how did you know well that that's discernment the Lord, you know, put that into your heart <clears throat> so you can be there for them. Okay, the other one that is, it's also, now this is very powerful. This is called the anointing. Okay, <clears throat> that's a, another one of the, um, I, I call it one of the powers. <laughs> and the anointing, it could be very very powerful. Uh, usually, the anointing can bring a lot of things. It could bring healing. It could be. It could bring a restoration. Um, uh, it can enlighten you by something. But also, the anointing can also make you pass out. <laughs> And what I mean by that is it's a certain power that that helps you, oh, how can I put it, it's a certain power that helps you become more spiritually alive, okay? Now, there was this one person, and I, I always see her as one of the pioneer uh, Greats, one of the old greats, and her name was uh, Catherine Coleman, and I didn't know about her until my my husband uh, told me about her years ago, and I have to admit, when I first started reading about her and knowing about her, I, I was amazed. I really was. She lived for God, for knowing Him, for being with Him. You know, she just lived for Him. If you ever want to read up on her, just Google her; you'll find her. And, and, um, when I was, what do you call, reading about her, she had it in, and I read one of her books and when she would go into like a hotel and she would, they, she would have to come in through the back because she would come with the anointing already on her. And when she would come in through the back, usually by the chef's area, the bread, the the, the back of the house, the cooking, where they do all the cooking. And when she would come back there, as soon as she would walk in, everybody was everybody that was in that kitchen would drop like flies. That's how powerful her anointing, God, was on her. They would just fall. And, and to me, that was like, that's amazing. And they would just get slayed by the spirit like, no, tomorrow. <laughs> and they probably wake up like, what the 
heck happened? <laughs> just, the Lord just passed by. <laughs> that's what happened. And uh, so that's the anointing. It's, it's the presence of God. That's what it is. And that's powerful stuff. <laughs> so, and she was really uh, unknown for that. She had a very, very heavy anointing on her. And another one that had uh, an anointing gift was also, um, Kat, not, uh, what was her name? Uh, Amy McPherson. She was another one. And she was like one of the real, real pioneer greats. I mean, she was like way back in the early 1900s. But she also uh, did so many things. She was also anointed with the word at her time, in her time. And she did so many things that people do today. And she did it way back in 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 her uh, early 1900s. I mean, you you have to, you know, find out, read about her, Google her, read about her. I mean, it's good to know and read about the pioneer greats because you can learn from them. There's another one, too, uh, Samantha Wigglesworth. He's another one, too. Uh, he was also anointed with healing. And... Um, he would have, he would be able to make people's limbs grow, literally grow. That's how powerful he was. And there's, there's a many others. There's many others that you can read up on. But um, you definitely want to, not only if, when you're in the world, you want to catch up on, on, the, on the old grades because you can, they can teach you so, so much. And there's, like I said, there's so, so many of them. Not like today. You hardly don't read anything like that now. What, like, where are they? Where are those who are, you know, uh, moving in the anointing, uh, in the spirit uh, of the Lord? Where are they? And I'm like, well, you're that person. <laughs> So get out there. And, and that's what we got to do. We have to start moving in that anointing. Okay. So I know we can get there. And we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, now, the other, well, the, yeah, I guess the anointing could kind of like be a kind of like borderline supernatural because um, it's not every day that you can make limbs grow. That's supernatural power right there. When you can do that, that's. That's pretty awesome. And uh, and another thing I wanted to touch on were the, the different realms of um, of the word of, of, of God. I mean, there's so many different stages that, that you can move in, and they're called realms. And <clears throat> so that's another one that I want to touch bases with you. That one I'm definitely going to look up and talk to you more about later because there's so many stages on that one. Uh, it's just like, it's almost like different worlds. Like you have one world, then another world, and yet another world, you know? And you 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 have to try to, to work your way into each one, okay? And th those are fascinating. Those are highly fascinating. Like I said, so when it comes to supernatural uh, powers, again, you have to um, do things out in the ordinary. I mean, sometimes when you, like, if you want to close yourself in a, in a, in a small space and just um, uh, be with the Lord, yeah, you have to be in total, like, quietness. You don't have to be in total darkness. I mean, you don't really have to do that. But just be in total quietness. Just be, like, one-on-one, -on -one, just, just with Him. Okay. And, uh, you, I mean, sometimes you'll be in there, you'll be in there in a quiet place, but, you know, doing, rethinking and, and whatever, just spending time with them and you'll come out and you'll be like, Oh, okay. Go on for 10 minutes or whatever. It might've been, you might've felt like 10 minutes, but you were probably in there like for two and a half hours, three hours. You have to remember our time and God's time. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. But you're probably wondering why this box of um, cake mix is here. Okay. Well, I'm trying to hurry up because there's so many little things I want to talk to you about. Well, anyway, 
this cake mix. I went to this church one time, and the pastor there was trying to explain how to get into the Word of God. And he blew me away because he came out with a cake box of cake mix, and he started talking about the back of the box. And he goes, if you ever want to learn how to read the